<sighs> How are you doing, Zahi? Since Zahi is six weeks old, I am traveling with him through Kenya and I made it to my personal mission to help you as a mom to do the same and to not be worried and afraid anymore to start traveling and realize your dream of actually traveling to Africa. So I can't believe that actually today we have already spent two nights here. So we are going to our next location but this has been a wonderful place especially if you're looking forward to stay with kids like you have to go back and watch my recent vlog about it mm -hmm. but even today there's another camp so the owner of this camp they have three camps in the Masai Mara and we are going to another one which is a new version and it's more luxury more upper class more fancy even more than this so we are totally excited to get there today and of course I'll be taking you along <laughs> so we just had breakfast here while looking at the hippo pool and that's something so super unique and I'm so grateful that we could have the experience. And even Zahi, like, he, he's just here. He's so excited looking at the hip hop. He's imitating them, their noise. And it's so beautiful, like, that a child in this age gets introduced to so many new things and he has so many learnings. And he can have all these real experiences in the nature. And yeah, I'm happy and grateful for that. Okay, let's see what Zai is doing. So, um, we were left alone. <laughs> they have uh, someone here who takes care of the kids and does like children activities, which is very, very special. For hotels, you don't find that easily. Let's come and see. Oh my God. I have never seen Zahi so quiet and in his element. Zahi loved it so much in the tree house <laughs> that he stole one of the toys. He's like, Mom, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> On the way to our next hotel, we ran into our first challenge. Last night we had heavy rains and the road has turned into a river full of dangerous hippos. Will we be able to cross the road and proceed our trip? Okay. So he's checking out if we can pass. Huh? Mama! It's okay, Zahi. It's okay. Zahi, is it okay we can go? Yeah. Just need to. Oh, oh, I see the hippos. Hippos are out! There the hippos are there. One is out. You okay? Yeah. Zahi, we made it! Yeah. Almost! Yeah. You're saying bye to who? To the hippos? Bye bye hippos! We are going! Wow, 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 wow! We just arrived in our new camp and oh my god, this is like a house. <laughs> Everything entirely for us. So Zahi was so tired, he fell asleep on the drive. Yeah. 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 Like an 
Ich habe auch Haus. Eine war es tatsächlich im Stell. So, das kann ich. Tomorrow morning, wait for it. <laughs> this is huge. This is so beautiful. One is the living room. Wow. And you can walk through. And this is the room for the kids. I mean, I'm sleeping with Zahi, of course. So in my case, my nanny will stay here. And ah, you have an entire outside. <laughs> so this is so cool for every mom. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I just, I am so tired. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I know Zahi is enjoying the time. Yeah, yeah. So, Masai, what's your name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Emmanuel here with us. And uh, I know he's gonna keep Zahi busy and yeah, us, I rest. <laughs> So far, this time here has been just amazing, incredible. Like, I love, like, one thing which is very important for me is sustainability. Plus, when you can travel and you have support here, and finally they understand what moms need and even give you someone who can do activities with your child. And I just feel like this is so cool. I could literally just rest, do nothing. So I love that and now I'm super excited because we are heading out, it's getting late, I'm getting ready, <laughs> so we are going for, hopefully the sun is playing along, for a sundowner and this is one of my favorites to just, you know, be outside in the wild, maybe we're gonna see some animals, I don't know. See the sun go down, have a drink, and just be out in the nature, in the savannah. That is what Sahari is all about for me. Wow! Zahi, can you show me the hippo? Where is he? Where is the hippo? Where? His hippo's <laughs> jumping! Jesus! Look at this fat head hopper. This hopper is too close to our house. I mean, this is where we stay. <laughs> and the Masai guy just said they might come up to here at night. So there's no walking outside at night or in darkness without a guide. Zai, did you listen? No walking outside. Hello? Zai, no walking. Okay, Mama. <laughs> Zai, let's go. Send it. Let's go. Come say bye bye. Bye. Who are you saying bye? Say bye bye. Okay, let's go. Let's go for bye. a game drive. Bye. Bye.
Gracias. So, Sahi has his new favorite word. So, the first word he learned was ka. Of course, he can say mama, nanana for banana, ka. And now his second word, or one of his new words, huh? Say it, kaka. Kaka. <laughs> kaka. Kaka. Oh, wow. Wow. Kaka. Ah, <laughs> ah. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday night I went here alone. Zahi was already sleeping. Of course my nanny was looking after him. And uh, I came alone for dinner and it was such a romantic setup and just like here I don't know how you call them. They're not like candles, but the lights everywhere, then down there, the bonfire, and it's directly located to the river even now. We can hear the hippos, and we are just sitting there in peace. Like, I feel like it's just us being here. <laughs> I think all the others already went for game drives. And also, this is like a luxury tented camp, which means it only has exclusively, I think, 10 rooms. So there are not many guests. And I think like for me, when you go on safari, you want to be somewhere private. You don't want to have like another hundred guests and cars and tourists here. So if you want to have peace and just quietness, your own time, being connected to the nature, I think this is the place to be. We are actually heading back to Nairobi. Um, one night and then we continue our adventure to Naivasha so feel free subscribe if you like it and follow us on our next adventures and I'll see you ladies next week